Devtoberfest starts October 1st and runs through October 31st. So maybe it's even already begun by the time that you're watching this video. Now keep in mind that the big addition this year to the Devtoberfest contest is the grand prize. That grand prize is a trip to the SAP offices in Newport Beach, California. It includes your round trip airfare, hotel, me meals, and you get to meet with SAP leaders and then fun, spend a fun day at Disneyland. Enter today into the contest by simply joining the Devtoberfest community group in the SAP community. Of course, if you're entering the contest, then we want to be ready to take part in all the content and tutorials that we're going to have for you. This year, the content will be laid out in such a way that on Monday, all the ABOP content will be available, Tuesday will be user interface, Wednesday will be data and analytics. Thursday will be low code and no code tooling. And Friday will be cloud native development. Now, when we look ahead to the first week of Devtoberfest specifically, on Monday, October 1st, the ABOP content will be an introduction to ABOP object oriented patterns and installing and starting to use the ABOP development tools for Eclipse. The first week on Tuesday, the user interface topics will focus on Redux and Redux Toolkit. Wednesday will be all about machine learning. There'll be a session on machine learning for HANA and Python and machine learning in Data Warehouse Cloud. Thursday, the low code, no code topics will focus on the SAP Business Application Studio and some of the low code capabilities that are available in that tooling. And Friday, October 7th, we'll have what is cloud native the basics of Kubernetes. And of course, every Friday during Devtoberfest, we'll also have a fun Friday activity. And the first one will be Pettoberfest. You'll be able to post pictures of you and your favorite pet, either together at work, coding together, or just having fun together. So tune in, join us for Devtoberfest all throughout the month of October, and good luck winning the contest. SAP AppDriver has added a very important feature project sharing. That means you can create a new project and give access to your colleague. In the project lobby, you manage the members, add the email address of your colleague, and set the permission level. Now that colleague can see the project in their project lobby. While working on the project, you can always see which other users are working on it at that moment. If the circle turns orange, that means that the colleague has made changes, but has not yet saved them. When your colleague does save the changes, if there are no conflicts, the changes are immediately updated on your canvas. If there are conflicts, their changes will still be saved, but any changes you've made will be discarded. I've heard from one colleague who worked with a group of developers at the same time, and each one worked on a different page and they were able to create a very complex app with many, many pages in about a half hour. Just note, of course, that this feature of project sharing is available only on the SAP BTP version and not on the community version. This is a good time to mention Mark Huber's session at Devtoberfest, where he'll be going over all of the special features of the SAP BTP version like authentication, destinations, and project sharing. But he'll also be giving you a sneak peek of what's ahead, like, well, you'll have to come to the session and see. Are you interested how you can unlock your company's full potential? SAP has the right technology for you. With the SAP Business Technology Platform, you can build, integrate, and extend innovative applications. So don't miss the registration for this year's TechEd and learn everything about the SAP Business Technology Platform. Whether you are a developer, admin, consultant, or a team manager, there is something for you in our SAP BTP General Track. You will get deep insights into the capabilities and functionalities of SAP BTP and hear from customers who have implemented use cases firsthand. Understand how to apply DevOps principles with the right level of control and the right tools. With our security and compliance offering, you learn how to run a solid and secure platform. 
So are you ready to get your hands on SAP BTP and take your cloud environment to the next level? Then register for TechEd and find out what SAP has to offer. See you in November. If you know me, you know I like being mobile. But for today's mobile update, I'm not doing a walk and talk. I'm highlighting Jachendra Consul's latest blog post on SAP Mobile Development Kit 6.3. Jachendra takes us through a lot of updates in this blog post, but what's really important to point out is that mobile developers, app developers, and business users can all take advantage of the fact that the SAP Mobile Services allow you to write an application against our mobile services and deploy it to iOS, Android, and even a web browser for consuming. It is important for this update 6.3 your Android users be using version 8.0 of Android OS. In this blog post, Jatendra takes us through 15 different enhancements that are available. In the section on UI, as you see, Jatendra takes you through object card collection and all the great things that you can do with that. In the next section on API and syntax enhancements, I wanted to highlight the toolbar enhancement section that Jatendra is pointing out. And then finally, in the general enhancement section, there's an update on cross-context SSO login support that Jachendra highlights. Please dive deep into all 15 of these great enhancements that Jachendra points out, and if you have any questions, let us know.